Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast, and we are back at it again with GB Studio. I was going to be doing a Pokemon battle tutorial. I started with that concept, and then I kind of wanted to build upon that more, like having like random stats. Like, so if you captured a Pokemon or a not Pokemon trademark right not capture a a not pokemon have it have random stats and like how to assign random stats per you know strength defense x y z whatever so i kind of want to develop that a little bit more before i make a tutorial on that video so stay tuned because i've gotten really kind of creative and trying to make that happen so hopefully we'll have something soon so instead i decided to tackle the much harder project of doing the music in gb studio what am i doing really the the music aspect for gb studio is is quite nifty because you kind of just get to draw which is pretty cool so there's two kind of versions that we can go about each one has its perks has its downsides one in my opinion is easier than the other but uh, yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and kind of just play around with it. I don't know how to read music. I do play many different instruments, but I, I don't actually know how to read music. So I really just kind of go based off sound, what I hear, what I like, what I don't like, etc. So we're going to go ahead and we're going we're gonna to draw a pretty little picture and uh, see if we can get something good sound out of it. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we kick things off, a quick shout out to our sponsor. That is Retro Repair Resale. Yes, we've done this once before. Retro Repair Resale is revive, enhance, and fix all your electronic needs, whether it's your laptop, your cell phone, or your gaming console, they have you covered 100%. Retro Repair Resale was kind enough to lend me their Game Boy Advance SP Pikachu Edition, built from the ground up, uh, where we have this custom box, which I'm absolutely in love with. So here we have the shell uh, with Pikachu's face on it. And also we got a nice custom sticker on the bottom here with the rechargeable battery. Here we have that new screen here. Uh, again, more red buttons. Nice touch and a little Pikachu logo in the corner. Now this speaker is actually amped up, so it's not your stock speaker. Turning on the device, we see that screen in action, and let me tell you, the camera does not do this justice. The pixels are crisp, they look vibrant, and uh, the viewing angles are phenomenal. So we see here there's absolutely no ghosting. Um, it's just, it's fluid, it's a gorgeous display. And uh, this console is actually for sale itself. Retro Repair Resale does sell these. They have them in a multitude of variant variations. Uh, there's even like a Majora's Mask one that looks really, really cool. Um, absolutely phenomenal. Check the link down below and get yours today. So when you are in GB Studio, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you want to go up to the left-hand corner where it says Game World. You're going to go ahead and go down to Music. So here we have our different music. You should only have Song Template. I tried making this video in the past several times and then you just got overwhelmed. I was like, I don't know what to do and, and quit. So there's nothing in these. We'll, we'll use these for this tutorial. But the only one that has anything is when you're on the elevator, it dings. That just sounds like the perfect elevator, doesn't it? I love it. Okay. So you'll have a song template. I, I think it's blank by default. I've messed with this file so many times now that I'm not sure exactly if it's blank or if there's something in it. But go ahead and hit that plus button, add a new song template, and I'm going to go ahead and use this one here, number one. Now, this is pretty neat. Right, so the Game Boy has four channels. It's got Duty 1, Duty 2, Wave, and Noise. And each one of these has its own different sound. Like Wave, let's see. And by Wave, I meant Duty. Duty kind of has like your melody, right? Duty 2 will have the same. Wave is like your synth. Oh, that's that's pretty bad. That's pretty annoying, isn't it? Let's go lower with that, shall we? Let's let's make that lower. It's kind of like a baseline, right? It's almost almost like a baseline. And noise, noise is going to have your drums. It's your kicks, your beats, your crashes. And as we see, we get different sounds as we move along the keyboard here on the different channels. And then if we hit play, this is going to sound awful. 
Wasn't that lovely? You know, it will play whatever we draw. So it's a great way for those that don't know music composition, such as myself, or those that just want to kind of play with it, to be able to draw something and hit play and see how it sounds. Now, I know there's a lot of things out there where people like draw pixel art and then go, this is what you know, Mega Man sounds like, and it's usually a hot mess. Or sometimes it's cool, who knows? So have fun with it. Draw, play with it, see what comes out of it. And then over here on the left-hand side, we have instruments. So if we're in the duty tabs, which we are, we can click this, and these each color has a different sound. And we see we can kind of change the length of this, the initial volume, the sweep, and then the percent. And I believe the percentage is like how long, right? So if I do this, oh, I'm pushing the wrong button. There we go. So I believe percent is how long. Let's go ahead and go to 50. Oh, interesting. So the percentage is going to change the tone. So if we go 12.5, we hear it's higher. Kind of has a kind of nasally sound to it. If we change it to 50, it's going to sound a little bit more like Mike Tyson's punch out. Do, 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 right? Let's go ahead and change to 75. What's that sound like? Kind of got that nasally side back to it again. So really a lot of this is just have fun with it play with it, see what comes out of it. So I'm going to go ahead. Oops, there we go. Let's go ahead and start building a nice little duty one tone. We'll try to make it light. We'll make it kind of just back and forth, just kind of bouncy, kind of playful, right? Let's go ahead and see what we come up with. Oh, before we do that, the other type of tracker. So as we draw, I mean, with these notes, it's just like playing on the actual keyboard or on a piano where we have our C key, then we have our D, E, F, G, A, B, C again, and different octaves, right? So, but there is something else for those that want, in my opinion, a little bit more challenge in making their music. And that's if we click these three dots up here, is it switches to tracker view. So if we click this, here we have duty one. And if I click here and I push a button on my keyboard, I'm going to push the D key. That's a D4. If I push the C key, it's a D5. So you can kind of play the piano a little bit with your actual keyboard or your computer and play different tones and track it that way. I would say this is probably for more advanced users. I'm not a big fan of this. I'm not going to use this. But we see here, I push the two D keys an octave apart. Oops. So now that we're on our MIDI tracker, let's go ahead. Let's try to make something a little bit fun, lighthearted. I like the sound of this that this is making. I'm going to I want to use this sound. It sounds pretty good. Let's we'll start with an F. Yeah, that sounds good. And we're just going to kind of play along, right? So we have Sounds pretty video gamey, right? A little a little bit. Let's go up a note, All right? So a little going up back down let's go down let's try let's go to d come back up to g and d again right let's how's that here sound so that sounds very fast that is very quick we want to slow that down that's just way too much right <laughs> that sounds crazy so if we go up here, if we go to tempo, let's increase this to nine. Let's see how that sounds. Okay, so it sounded better. So the higher the number, the slower it plays, right? It's still a little fast. Let's go ahead. Let's increase this some more. Let's go. Let's try 12. Okay, that's not too bad. I think that's. A good starting point. We'll start at 12 and we'll just kind of keep building this melody out and just kind of back and forth, right? That's all we're really doing is just do, 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 do. And we're just trying to set the beat a little bit with a nice melody. And let's go ahead and just keep building this out. Okay. So we finished kind of what I would consider a bar with adding this here. What's really neat is we can go ahead, we can click this select all box, highlight all those, control C and control V. And we can place that whole thing if we want to play it again which the game boy we can get away with that right like we can make it duplicate and not have any issues because the game boy is very repetitive system enough as it is right so let's go ahead let's listen to what this sounds like all 
Okay. Oops. And so that's just going to keep looping. I didn't really like it. Duplicate. Go ahead. Let's get rid of that. Where's the duplicate? There it is right there. And we'll just select all that and hit delete. I wasn't a big fan when we hit here and went right back to there, to the beginning. Let's go ahead. Let's try something a little bit different and make sure we select our pencil again. Let's see. Let's go. Let's try here. A little bit higher start point, right? It might sound a little bit better. Okay. So we went ahead and built our first melody. I literally just placed the last block. Let's go ahead and we're at tempo 12. Let's see how that sounds. I think that sounds really good. It's a nice loop. It's a seamless transition. We end on the same note that we start on. So that way this just can keep looping back and forth. And maybe this can be like a title screen kind of music or maybe in town. It might get a little bit repetitive. We might want to slow it down if it's going to be in town or something like that. But maybe a good title screen where it's just this back and forth. It kind of reminds me of a circus a little bit and see kind of where that leads. So now that we have our our duty one, we're going to go ahead. We're going to go to switch to duty two and we see this grays out so we can actually play the same note over the top. Duty two is on a separate channel that the Game Boy can play. So it's like these notes don't exist on this channel. We have a completely blank slate but it's going to play this music notes or it's going to play these music notes and play the ones on top of it so we can like get some dual stuff going i personally like to go lower with my duty two i like duty one to be kind of higher i like duty two to kind of be lower notes and then see kind of where that goes so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to change instruments I'm just going to go to the basic one here and let's see what does this sound like oops i hope if i have the pencil Kind of get that classic Game Boy nasally sound. I don't mind that. We'll see how that sounds. We'll build an accompanying mud melody to go along with this. And a lot of that is just going to be the same thing, but an octave lower. We might make some parts go lower or higher. So we start on a G up here. I'm going to start on a G down here. Oops. Make sure I have my pencil tool. That might be too much. Let's see if we can increase this. Let's try this. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Try 50%. Oh, there we go. That's a nice, rich sound. I'm going to start with 50. So far, it seems like I like 50. I got like 50 up here. I'm going to try 50 down here, but I do kind of want to try that 12.5 again. What's 75? That sounds the same as 50, so we'll just go 50. Okay. And basically, we're just going to kind of build the same melody. Like I said, I'm going to add a couple of high parts, a couple of low parts, just to kind of add some difference between the two and see what we come up with. So we built a little bit. Let's see how this sounds. So it sounds good. I think it's a bit fast. Let's try, let's try 15. Mm, even slower. 18? We're getting close. We'll try leaving it at 20 for now. We might mess with that some more. And we're going to keep building out this kind of lower harmony that's going with this melody. Okay, so I just finished building that out. And we kind of have this routine F line kind of playing it's kind of our constant again we ended on the same note that we started on this has been like hours later already i'm feeling the tiredness on just getting these two channels to work so i mean you're gonna spend time on this this is gonna take forever there's been a lot of times where i'm hitting play just listening to it i don't like that i like this i don't like that i'd like this no but when we hit play we have a nice kind of song forming here that sounds like this Okay, wave, 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 right? Like waving goodbye to my sanity. We got a nice little shindig happening here. If we mess with wave, wave is pretty cool where if we mess with like a triangle wave, right?
it's long, but it kind of creates these cool kind of synth wave, baseline, bassy things. That sounds like garbage, but you know, you can use the wave if you're trying to make like a creepy song or if you want there, if like you're making a horror game, right? I strongly recommend you use wave, have it kind of maybe play this melody in a wave, right? And it will really change the dynamic. And that was the triangle wave. I mean, if we do the saw, oops, kind of go back to pencil. You know, not exactly pleasant to the ear by itself, but if you mess with the other instruments and really kind of mess with, you know, the volume, the waveform, I personally don't like wave. I like having the melody, the harmony, and then noise. Noise is when you're messing with like the drum sounds where we have different sounds. And there's a whole bunch we have here, like a bass drum. Um, well, that sounds like... Higher we go. Sounds like that. Lower we go. Okay, let's select all those. Get rid of that guy too. Hyatt's. Oops. There we go. They work better down here in this range. They kind of sound like uh, punches, don't they? A little bit. Like, it just sounds like a punch in a River City Ransom game. So if we want to mute and just hear the, like, the drum line that we got going, we can mute each duty or the wave. We can get rid of where we can't see. One, two, okay. Let's go ahead and build up our drum sounds. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go bass drum one. And I think I'm going to put most of it right here. I lied. I don't think I'm going to go bass drum one. Let's try. That's better. I'm going to go here. Okay, and then let's go ahead, let's put like a, right? Try to get a good thing going. Let's go with a snare and crash. Ooh, no, crash. Definitely not that either. That's not too bad. Okay, so that's a four beat. Let's go ahead and let's just copy this. Let's just put it back in again, right? There we go. Copy, paste. How's that sound? Okay, it's not too bad. Just with the drum. Okay, it's okay. It's not great. It's not the best. Let's go ahead. We're gonna change this a little bit. Okay, get rid of... Space it out a little bit more, huh? Let's go ahead. Let's add. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Right? One, two, three, four. There we go. Get a little pattern going. And just kind of keep that same pattern going, right? That's not bad. That could be better. Let's move this up, shall we? Let's take all these. Let's try. Let's try there. It's now 1 a.m. And now we're going to add some some closed hi-hats. Hi-hats? Yeah. And just going to go ahead and just add it right there. And right there. See, so yeah, that sounds way better, like with the melody. But when it's on its own, it does not sound good. Okay. So now that we have the double there... Let's go ahead and let's add a bass drum, right? That's right here. Let's add one here and then here and here, here, here. There we go. And I think that's going to sound very nice. And then lastly, on the last set, we're going to add right there. So hopefully that way it goes. So we got da, 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 we kind of have that nice rhythmic pattern and we duplicated it and it gives a little bit more rhythm than just having da -da 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 the whole time. We want it to be a drum line. We want it to be a, a beat. We don't want it to just be the same all the way through. It makes sense. I'm tired. Leave me alone. <laughs> let's, let's hear it. Let's go ahead and mute those and just hear the this part. Okay, so yeah, we have that dat 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 And when we add in the two duties all together, we have... I think it's a little slow. I think we can speed it up a little bit. I 
I like that. I think that sounds good. It's a little fast, a little slow. There we go. I mean, we, we just made a song. We have Duty 1 right here in the middle. Duty 2, the low. So now let's go ahead and now that we have finished making our music track here, which is Music Template 1, we're going to go ahead and go to the game world. We have a logo screen here. Now this image was actually taken with my Game Boy camera and then port it over to my computer so then we can import it into our game. I'll have a tutorial showing how to do that in a future video for all of you Game Boy <laughs> photographers showcasing kind of your, your photos on a GB Studio game. You can make an interactive story that way, or like an art museum or something like that. Something pretty neat. So anyways, we're going to go ahead. We're going to go to Add Event, and we're going to type in Music, Play Music Track, and Song Template 1. Now if we hit Play, and there we have it. Our track is now in the game. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Yeah, let me know kind of what you think. And uh, hopefully soon we're going to do that the Pokemon style. I know I keep saying the Legend of Zelda one. Now that 3.2 has come out, it's there's a little bit some new stuff to kind of go over. I, I, I think it's possible. I think we're going to get to it. I promise. So just bear with me. Next week, we're probably going to do a Flipper Zero video. And then the week after that, we'll come back to GB Studio. And I'll kind of alternate between the two. Again, thanks so much for watching. Have a great week, everyone. And take care.